With school starting back up, more drivers will be on the roads. Fox 23's Jenna James shows us how police officers are preparing to keep people safe in school zones. Every year, the Owasso Police Department calls in squads of extra officers on the first week of school to patrol traffic in school zones. On the first two days of school, we bring in extra uh, extra shifts and extra squads of officers to work the school zones in and around every school in Owasso, every public school. So all of the elementaries, all of the secondary schools will have officers working the school zones. Police say the hustle to head to class should halt once you hit the road this school year, specifically in school zones. The speed limit in school zones drops to 25 miles per hour. Stats from last school year show that police in Tulsa and surrounding cities wrote combined 583 speeding tickets in school zones. Tulsa police and Bixby PD issued the most, while Jinx, Broken Arrow, and Owasso wrote combined 31 speeding tickets in school zones. Lieutenant Nick Boatman says there's good reason for the lower number of speeding tickets around 86th Street North. There's so many people trying to get in and out of those schools that there's not a whole lot of movement in those vehicles. It, it's a slow process. Buses are going in and out. It's difficult to get speeds. That slowdown could be a tempting chance to text while behind the wheel, which is against state law for good reason. According to 2019 data from the Oklahoma Highway Safety Office, more than a thousand crashes occurred in these cities due to distracted driving in and out of school zones. As students walk and bike to class or the bus drops them off, it's a reminder to pay attention. Police departments say to watch Watch their social media for traffic updates as students head back to class. Covering news that matters, Jenna James, Fox 23 News.